the question is in a test given to two groups of students the marks obtained are as follows group 1 marks are given and group 2 marks are given examine the significance of difference between the mean marks scored by the students so first we will apply t test on second group is given marks of two groups are given group number 1 and group number 2 examine the significance of difference between the mean marks scored by the students of the verb 2 groups let mean of group 1 is mu 1 and mean of group 2 is mu 2 mean of group 1 is mu 1 and mean of group 2 is mu 2 so our null hypothesis is h not such that mean of group 1 equals to mean of group 2 means there is no significant difference between in the mean marks of two groups we will check this at 5% level of significance or 95% confi confidence level so our null hypothesis is let the there is no significant difference between mean marks of two groups where mu1 is mean of group 1 and mu2 is mean of group 2 first we will apply t test over here for t test marks of group 1 and marks of group 2 marks of group 1 are 18 20 36 50 49 36 34 49 41 and marks of group 2 29 28 26 35 30 44 and 46 marks of two groups are given in t test let let it be x1 and x2 for group 2 write x2 assume it as x1 and marks of group 2 x2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 here n1 equals to elements of group 1 9 and n2 equals to 7 elements of group 2 and 2 is 7 first calculate mean mean of group 1 equals to summation of x1 over n1 summation of x1 means summation of sum total of all the elements of group 1 is 3 3 3 divided by 9 which is equals to 37 and mean of second group equals to summation of x2 by n2 equals to 238 sum total of all the elements of group 2 is 238 divided by 7 which is equals to 34 so mean of x1 is 37 and mean of x2 is 34 so next is calculate deviation from deviation from mean means x1 minus 37 elements of x1 minus 37 18 minus 37 is minus 19 20 minus 37 minus 17 here x1 is 37 36 minus 37 minus 1 50 minus 37 13 12 then minus 1 36 minus 37 minus 3 12 and 4 then deviations from group 2 by mean of second group means x2 minus x2 dash 
here x2 dash is 34 x2 dash is 34 29 minus 34 is minus 5 28 minus 34 minus 6 26 minus 34 minus 8 then 1 minus 4 34 minus uh, 44 minus 34 10 46 minus 34 12 dash then calculate square of this means x1 minus x1 dash square then x2 minus x2 dash square square of this column 19 into 19 360 1 then 217 square 289 1 169 12 144 1 9 144 and 16 again square of this column 5 square 25 36 64 1 16 100 12 square is 144 so calculate summation summation of this is summation x1 minus x1 dash square is 1 1 3 4 and summation of this is 386 so n1 is 9 n2 is 7 summation of this is 1134 and summation of this is 386 now calculate t applying t test applying t test formula for t stat is t equals to mean of first group minus mean of second group divided by standard deviation into under root n1 and 2 over n1 plus n2 this is a formula for t stat x1 37 x2 34 n1 9 n2 7 we need to calculate s standard deviation first formula for standard deviation is summation x1 minus x1 dash mean plus summation x2 minus x2 dash over degree of freedom for t test n1 plus n2 minus 2 right which implies s equals to 1134 and 386 divided by 9 plus 7 minus 1 which is equals to 108.57 therefore s equals to 10.42 here standard deviation from actual means our mean of x1 and x2 are in whole number or integer that's why we are applying actual mean formula standard deviation from actual means is 10.42 by putting all these values in t stat we get value of t equals to x1 is 37 minus 34 standard deviation is 10.42 under root n1 is 9 into 7 9 plus 7 therefore t equals to 37 minus 34 3 3 divided by this 9 into 7 63 and 0 0.571 so t equals to 0 0.751 calculated value calculated value of t is 0.571 now table value of t first calculate degree of freedom 
डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इक्व टू न्यू इक्व टू एन वन प्लस एन टू माइनस टू विच इज इक्व टू फोर्टीन देर फोर फोर न्यू इक्व टू फोर्टीन वैल्यू ऑफ टी एट फाइव परसेंट सिग्निफिकेंट लेवल फॉर टू टेल टेस्ट इक्व टू टेबल वैल्यू इज टू पॉइंट वन फोर टेबल वैल्यू इज टू पॉइंट वन फोर विच इज टेबल वैल्यू और क्रिटिकल वैल्यू टेबल वैल्यू दिस इज कैलकुलेटर वैल्यू एंड दिस इज टेबल वैल्यू विच इंप्लाइज फ्रॉम दीज टू वैल्यूज कैलकुलेटेड वैल्यू इज लेस दैन टेबल वैल्यू कैलकुलेटेड वैल्यू इज लेस दैन टेबल वैल्यू कैलकुलेटेड वैल्यू इज लेस दैन क्रिटिकल वैल्यू और टेबल वैल्यू एट फाइव परसेंट सिग्निफिकेंट लेवल विच इंप्लाइज वी एक्सेप्ट नल हैपोथिस एच नॉट accepted h not accepted means h not was mu1 my equals to mu2 or h not was mu1 equals to mu2 means there is no significant difference in the mean of two groups therefore we accept h not which means we can conclude that mean marks of the students of two groups does not differ significantly which implies mean marks of two groups do not differ significantly means there is no significant difference between the mean marks of group 1 and mean marks for group 2 significant means notable difference so h not is accepted means mean marks for both the groups are equal approximately equal means mean marks of two groups do not differ significantly result of our hypothesis by t test h not is accepted by applying t test for group 1 and group 2 in independent sample case in independent sample case now in second case we will apply same for independent cases man witney u test which is non parametric test for independent sample t test man witney u test our question is same question two groups are given marks are given mu1 is a mean of group 1 mu2 is a mean of group 2 examine the significant difference between the mean marks of group 1 and group 2 again h not is null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between mean marks of two groups group 1 and group Two. Now we will apply Mann-Whitney test, non-parametric test, for same question. First, write the values of both the samples in ascending order. Values of both the samples. in ascending order in ascending order means we will club values of both the group in ascending order right first value is lowest value is from two groups is 18 we will write 18 first group 1 means let name it as group 1 a and group 2 b group 1 a and group 2 b 
फर्स्ट वैल्यू इज 18 मींस 18 ए सेकंड वैल्यू इज 20 20 ए देन थर्ड वैल्यू इज 26 इन ग्रुप बी मींस 26 बी देन फोर्थ वैल्यू इज 28 28 बी मींस 28 इज फ्रॉम ग्रुप बी 26 इज फ्रॉम ग्रुप बी The next highest value is higher value is twenty nine. Same from group B, twenty nine. Then thirty again from group group B. Then thirty thirty four group A. Then thirty five group B. Then thirty six group A. Then thirty six again. Group A and so on. We will write all the values in ascending order in one column. In one column. First one is eighteen, twenty, twenty-six, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-six. Forty one, forty four, forty six, forty nine, forty nine and fifty. Total values are one two three four five six seven eight nine in first group. One two three four five six seven in second group. Nine plus seven sixteen. Nine plus seven sixteen. Therefore, n equals to sixteen. N equals to sixteen. Eighteen is from group A. A, second group from second group from second group from second from first from second from first. This one is from first. Forty-one is from group A. Then forty-four group B, group B, and forty-nine, forty-nine and fifty is from group A. Means A represents group. One B represents group two. No assigned ranks in incre increasing order. Ranks lowest number first rank, then twenty already in ascending order. Second, third, fourth rank, fifth rank, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth. We have n equals to Sixteen. Now two clashes are there. Thirty-six, thirty-six clash number one. Forty-nine, forty-nine clash number two. Forty-nine and thirty-six. Take average of nine and ten. Nine and ten average is nine point five. So rank is nine point five and nine point five. Means ten plus nine divided by two. And average of fourteen and fifteen is. Fourteen point five and fourteen point five. Rank of forty nine is fourteen. Forty nine is fifteen. Therefore, fourteen plus fifteen divided by two. Now calculate R A and R B rank of sample. R A rank of sample A. R B is rank of sample two. First rank is from sample A, right A side. Again from sample A, two. Sample B, right B side. Four is from B, five is from B, six is from B, seven is from A, then B, then A. Again from A, B. Thirteen is from B. Fourteen point five is from A group. Fourteen point five A and sixteen A. Clear? A group ranks are in A column. B group ranks are in B column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine elements in group A and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elements in group B. Now summation of ranks of group A is summation R one, which is eighty five. 
and summation of ranks of group 2 is 51 where n1 is elements of group 1 n1 is 9 and n2 is elements of group 2 which is 7 so sum of rank 1 is group 1 is 85 sum of ranks of group 2 is 51 summation r1 is 85 summation r2 is means sum of this column is 85 sum of this column is 51 elements of group 1 is 9 elements of group 2 is 7 Now take null hypothesis, H0 such that mu1 equals to mu2 means there is no significant difference in mean marks of two groups. H0 is mean marks of both the groups are equal means there is no significant different difference in the mean marks of two groups. First calculate u stat means first calculate u1. Formula for u1 is formula for u1 is n1 into n2 plus n1 n1 plus 1 over 2 minus r1 formula for u1 is n1 into n2 plus n1 n1 plus 1 2 minus r1 n1 is 9 into 7 plus 9 over 9 plus 1 by 2 minus r1 is 85 which is equals to 63 plus 90 by 2 minus 85 therefore u1 comes out to be 23 u1 comes out to be 23 now calculate u2 formula for u2 is u2 is same replace n2 in place of n1 n1 into n2 plus n2 n2 plus 1 over 2 minus r2 this is formula for u2 n1 into 9 into 7 plus 7 7 plus 1 by 2 minus 51 therefore u2 is 40 by calculating this we get u2 is 40 u1 is 23 by applying this formula and u2 is 40 static value for u test right now 3 therefore u stat is minimum of minimum of u1 comma u2 formula for u stat is calculated value u stat is minimum of u1 and u2 u1 is 23 and u2 is 40 so minimum value for 23 and 40 is from 23 and 40 is 23 therefore calculate value of u test is 23 minimum of u1 and u2 therefore calculated value of calculated value of u stat is means man whitney u test is 23 now from man whitney u test table critical value u critical is equals to 2 for n1 equals to 9 and n2 equals to 7 for n1 equals to 9 and n2 equals to 7 u table value is 2 u table value is 2 which means our calculated value 
is greater than table value our calculated value is greater than table value will which means h not is accepted so we can conclude that mean marks of the students of two groups do not differ significantly means mean marks of two groups do not differ significantly means h not is accepted means mean marks of the both of mean marks of the two groups do not differ significantly this is a result of hypothesis testing by man whitney u test for independent samples for independent sample first write values of both the groups in ascending order assign ranks write in one column the ranks of the group a the ranks of the group b take some total of ranks of the group 1 and some total of ranks of the group 2 and one is number of terms number of observations number of items of group 1 and 2 is group 2 number of observations then calculate u1 u stat for first group then u stat for second group u1 is 23 u2 is 40 value for u stat is minimum of u1 and u2 here minimum of u1 and u2 is 23 therefore u stat means calculated value of man whitney u test is 23 then for table value u critical value you need to check for n1 and n2 n1 and n2 like this n2 n1 value is 2 over here right so our stat means calculated value 23 is greater than table value 2 therefore we accept null hypothesis which means mu1 is equals to mu2 which means there is no significant difference between the mean marks of both of the groups means they do not differ significantly so this is a result of non parametric man whitney u test for independent samples